would appear that there have been a whole bunch of Riven disposition changes. The last time they did this was something like around January when they released the previous mainline update. Which is kind of nice because now they're act now DE is actually going over and changing ribbons. For before that, there was pretty much a gigantic ribbon disposition trout. For two years, they didn't touch any ribbon. They only introduced new weapons into the game, and some of those weapons got introduced as insanely broken. And a ribbon disposition of one meant that those weapons stayed broken. In, sa in fact, they got even more insane than what they used to be. But, now that they're going over Rivens and changing them, this is good. Now they can actually, now they actually care more about the balance of the game, but Rivens will still mostly be used to push weapons over to the top, not to bring what regular weapons up to relevance. Oh. <sighs> Which is tragic, but it is what it is. Oh, that's nice. They even made all the ones that go down in disposition in red and all the ones go up. So you can see there's actually a lot more buffs than there are nerfs, especially in the primary weapons. This is true for the secondaries as well. There's a lot more green than there is red. But obviously the red means that it was a good weapon, so more people used it. If it's green, chances are people didn't use it, so there's no one who's going to be excited that these women that these weapons really got buffed, because no one used them. That's why they got buffed. Let's see here. Arc Plasmor, yeah, deserved. Amprext, yeah, deserved. That's a lot of damage lost, actually. 0.15 out of 0.85. That's what, 16% more than 16%. That's almost 20%. Yikes. That's uh, that's a pretty significant nerf. But Amprex deserved it. As much as I would hate to admit it, it's a really good gun. And this this Riven disposition was always way higher than it needed to be. Arganac, yeah, that's cool. One up again. Baza, yeah. I think when people saw this get buffed the last time, because it went from 1.0 uh, to 1.1, people realized that it's a really good weapon and it's always and that it's always silent. So it's really good for procking crits on, say, Avara, and also has a 3.0 base crit multiplier. So Baz is a really good weapon. This is. Probably more correct. Boltor, buff. That's nice. Bratton buffed. I guess I'll make the price on this one go up a little bit higher. They're like 100 flat now. Maybe 100, maybe 150. Burst in, nobody cares. Cernos? That's good for Cernos Prime. That's good for Rakta Cernos. But who the fuck uses bows in a game that goes this fast? Corinth got nerfed. Deserved. Well, I don't know. I've been finding myself using Corinth a lot a lot less and less. The airburst mechanic is cool, but it always pops at 20 meters away. And that's not... And that's like... Okay. The problem is, if you hit anything, even a mob, with the grenade, it doesn't explode. Thank you, got buffed. That's nice. Nobody cared. Dara got buffed. It's an awful weapon. Nobody cares. Dread got buffed. 0.9 to 1.1. That's good. It's still a very popular bow simply because it's one of the few weapons that naturally just seems to want to red crit everything in its path. You get a ribbon for it, you push it way over the top. Even just crit chance is enough. Ferox, cool. Nobody cares. Gorgon? People still aren't using this gun. Fucking serious? Like... Okay, alright. That's cool. Or 
Okada buffed. That's nice. Just got a new mod too. Solid, solid auto gun. Heck, heck going up is really good. Now it's a lot easier to hit status to get 100% status on the regular heck. That's, um, that's an underrated buff right there. This is really good. That's actually, that's actually huge. Now, I believe what happens is that, bef so before when heck was 0.6, in order to hit 100% status chance on Heck, you had to have status chance and a negative, and only two positive mods. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get to the to the 60% barrier that you needed in order to get 100% status chance before multi shot. Now that it went to 0.7, you could get it with a two or a three with a negative. Now you can get the 100% status chance, I believe, with three positives and no negative. That opens up a lot of options for for heck the regular heck because now you can get a 100 percent stat status build on it that's actually really good this is underrated i don't think people will ever use this gun like people people say oh you should use this gun mr4 this gun can legitimately carry you all the way up to elite sanctuary onslaught with enough investment it's that good it's solid this is a good weapon yeah, it might get outshined by, like, Strunwraith Wraith, because that can get high crit and high status. But the heck you get at MR4. And it has a multi-shot. It, like, it just, it just scales really smoothly from the moment that you get it right out of the box. At 30 mod capacity, it's a good weapon for the mobs that you're killing at, like, level 20. You put a Palace in it, it'll probably carry you to 100. You get the multi-shot mod from the Syndicate, you get Riven... You're probably killing level 300 mobs in one shot. You just build corrosive. That's insane. Actually, now that I think about it, that's nuts. This gets all the. If people don't use this gun, it goes all the way up to 1.0. That's fucking dangerous. Hema, that's nice. Hema does base viral damage, I think. This is a. It's a nifty gun. The whole health mechanic. You don't... I wonder if 1.2 allows a Riven to give it negative ammo, negative 100% ammo. Because if you have negative ammo, you can't actually use the gun. Because it still has a hidden, a hidden ammo counter. It's a thousand, but it's still there. And if you have negative 100% ammo. You have to use an ammo mod to get it back up to usable so that you can actually use up the health in order to get the gun off. Ignis, deserved. Javlock, nobody cares. Lenka, it's a sniper. It got nerfed. Deserved. Because they really don't want people killing Eidolons in one shot. see here. Latron, nobody cares. But that's nice. Mutilus Cernos, that's nice. Nobody cares. Nagantaka, got buffed. Nobody cares. As far uh, uh, People don't seem to like this gun at all, at all. It's got a fan the hammer mode too, but nope. Ogress, I was just leveling this gun up again last night. It's actually very good with Nightwatch Napalm and negative accuracy. You can area deny huge parts of a map. Even without being crit. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Panthera got a nerf. Probably people are realizing that it's a really good that it's a decent gun after the changes. And that it has an insanely high riffin disposition. This used to be 1.6. It used to be this the least this is like one of the least used weapons in the game for no reason. It's got like 90% slash damage. And a, the augment, actually the augment's awful. But it gives you a proc, and that's what matters. Paris, cool, that's nice. Oh, that's actually pretty big. Penta, just got a new mod. A new mod that actually makes it pretty not awful to play. Quanta got a buff, which should be one of the best guns in the game, I'm surprised. Well, 
Actually, I'm not surprised. It's really, it's not good compared to the other top tier beam weapons like Ignis. This makes sense. Actually, this is starting to make sense. Rubico got nerfed. Good. Scourge got buffed. That's nice. Simulor got buffed. We're so fucked. This weapon causes eye cancer to everyone. Please, game, please. Snipe drawn. Buffed. Hmm. I think this is the only sniper that didn't get buffed. Or that got buffed. Soma. Hello. Yikes. Yeah, this gun's been dead for a long time. But, it, so it used to be a really high MR weapon, and then they changed it to be really low MR. So now it performs like a low MR weapon, but it used to be one of the best guns in the game. I think part of it has to do with it being given out for free. That's why so many people are using it. Stradivar got nerfed. That's not surprising. Supra got nerfed. Oof. Uh, that that one hurts. I have a super ribbon. Tiberis got buffed. More people, less people are going to be using it because it just got vaulted. But Dex Tiberis is a thing. <sighs> Tiburon got nerfed. Deserved. It's one of the best guns in the game. It used to have like a 1.5 disposition. And then they gave it a, and then they gave it a ribbon. And a prime. Lol. Tonkor got buffed. Nobody cares. Torrid got buffed. Nobody cares. Vectus got nerfed. Oof. Velt got buffed. Nobody cares. Volcar got nerfed. Really? Nobody cares. Zar got buffed. Oh, it's easier to hit 100% status chance on that. Juge got buffed. I don't think people use this gun anymore. It used to be a really solid gun for people to level up with. Like, three years ago. Actually, I leveled up with it. It was a solid gun for me. But, um, times have changed. It's too slow now. It still has that nasty three-second reload, I believe. Ugh. Can't. It's not workable. You have to have a really good reason to have a, to use a three-second reload gun. Like, Twin Gricadas. Secondaries. Ak Bronco got buffed. Ooh. That's nice. People don't people underrate this weapon because because it's like, oh, it's an automatic handheld shotgun. No, it's an adamant it's an automatic handheld shotgun that gets a base status every time you shoot it. Oof. Achigar got nerfed. That's not surprising at all. Aklex got nerfed? It's not even that good anymore. They nerfed the Desert Eagles, dude. What happened to the real Lex? Why did that get buffed? Hello? <sighs> this fucking game, dude. I don't understand this one. I don't understand it. Akvasa got nerfed, deserved. Angstrom got nerfed. Interesting. It's. It does damage. Mostly to you. Not the enemies. I don't see why this got nerfed. I guess too many people were using it. Prisma Angstrom? I don't know if that was released recently from Barrow. Oh, it might have been actually. Shit. Okay. Bliska buffed. That's nice. Bliska Prime needed one. Brack got buffed. Yeah, I don't care. Bronco got buffed. Yeah, I don't care. Catch Moon. Well, here's the real breadwinner right here. Catch Moon. The best pistol in the game got nerfed by 20%. Fucking yikes. You're telling me that the handheld Archiplasmor got nerfed by 20% and people are actually complaining about this weapon. It is legitimately one of the best handheld pistols in the game. You're telling me 
that people are upset. Next time, that'll show you how not to spend 600 rolls on a single ribbon. You fucking dumb shits. Psychron got buffed, nobody cares. Despair got buffed, nobody cares. Dual Toxis. Mm. That used to be a really good stat stick for Mesa. Nobody cares. Gamma, got, Gamma Core got buffed. I care. I care, because that made my Riven bring the crit chance up to 87 from 65. Yikes. I'm very happy about I'm very happy about this. He cow got buffed. Nobody cares. Nobody uses it except for Chroma, and the ribbon doesn't affect it because the only thing you use for he cow is concealed explosives. You can't actually do more damage to yourself with a ribbon using concealed explosives. Nobody cares. Hystrix got buffed. Not sure if people remember to care about this. This gun used to be really difty with Saren when she could pop spores on her too, but that rule went away. Now the only thing it's really good for is gas toxin stacking, which still nobody does. Unfortunate. Comac got buffed. Nobody cares. Because everybody uses the twin Comac. Colstar buffed. Nobody cares. This is a, this, this doesn't make any sense. The Colstar and the Angstrom are pretty much the same gun. So they just brought them parody? I don't get it. Lotto got nerfed. Lotto Vandal is actually decent. But nobody cares. Ah, no, no. I take that back. People care. Because of the Lotto Vandal. People were saying after ESO got released that this was actually the sleeper, sleeper pistol. I think this has overtaken the Lexus like one of a lot of people's go-to pistols for single shots. It feels a lot better to play. It's not pinpoint accurate, but it has a lot less recoil. Also, it looks nicer. Maralock. Nobody cares, unfortunately. This is good for me. I recently got a crit chance multi-shot Riven for this, but uh, it's on the second account now. Akikor, that got buffed. I recently rolled crit chance, crit damage, cold damage on this Riven. This was... I... When Fortuna first released, I actually thought this was the best gun out of all the ones released. And then people just wound up not using any of the guns they got released at Fortuna. Uh, at the first release of Fortuna. That's pretty cool. That's a buff for me. That's a buff for me. I like that. Planks got buffed. Nobody cares. It's an awful weapon. There's nothing you can do to save it because the reload is too long. So the battery pack, so Planks has a battery pack that works just like Pax Charge. The problem is you can't improve it with Pax Charge because it's not a guns all. So it's always awful. It takes two seconds before a reload. It's one of the worst guns in the game. And that's not because of the damage, it's because it feels awful to play. Pox got buffed. Not surprising. It doesn't have a role anymore ever since Saren Spores got changed. Pyrana. Ooh, another 20% nerf. Okay, so Pyrana and Catch Moon both got nerfed by 20%. Oof. That's not going to take a nosedive in popularity simply because it's already still a really good gun with the gimmick. Rattle Guts got nerfed. Yeah, deserved. All the kit guns are really good. I didn't see Gaze. What the fuck is Gaze? Oh, they didn't chase Gaze at all. Hold up. Riven disposition of 1.0. Okay, so the so the gaze has the highest riven disposition out of all of them right now. I suspect the reason why they didn't change gaze as much is because it still competes against the Sinoid Simular for being the best beam secondary in the game. And the reason why the Sinoid Simul why the Sinoid Gamma Core would edge it out is because Sinoid Gamma Core has a mana restore proc and the gaze doesn't. But the gaze is more flexible because you can be both status or crit, depending on how you build it, and depending on what Riven you got for it. Ugh. 
Sycorus got nerfed. Hey! So, this gun has an interesting history. It used to be the worst prime in the game, by far, ever since it was first released with Frost. Then they doubled the damage numbers on it. Then they released the Riven for it at with a 5-star disposition. Then they buffed it again by doubling its damage numbers again. And then Reb rolled a Riven with crit chance, crit damage, base damage. It's literally the best ri Like, her Riven for the Sickers is probably one of the best Rivens in the game. I'm shocked that they actually nerfed this. Because this seems to be a developer favorite weapon. Deserved, though. It's a good gun. Definitely better than the Aklex. Yikes. But, okay, well, it's also a lot harder to get. Well, normally it's a lot harder to get, but Frost just got re-released in a, another unvaulting. Sonicor got buffed. Ooh. Spirit got buffed. Nobody cares. It has the same problem as Hecal. You only use it for concealed explosives. Stubba got buffed. I have an interesting Riven for this one. I have a negative impact Riven. But it feels like I lost a ton of damage even though I, the impact is only 20% of the damage. But I got crit and crit damage. I think the base numbers just might be too low. Tomb Finger got buffed. Or got nerfed. Deserved. Well, that's pretty big. 15%. Twinker Kratas! Yeah, boy! Hell yeah. Twin Gremlins got nerfed. Mm, deserved. That's very deserved. Twin Comac got buffed. Ooh. Status buff? Can we hit 100%? Wait, with 23%, I don't think that's possible. I don't know if that's enough. Yeah, that's probably not enough. 100 divided by 23. Minus the 100% status that already has. Hello? So, in order to get 100% status chance, you need to have a combined 335% status from mods somehow. Anywhere. So, as far as I know, if you use the four hybrid mods, that's 240. So, minus 240. That means your Riven has to have 95% status chance somehow. If you use the status mod, you have to... You use the short shot status mod or whatever it's called for pistols. That means you need to have 65 status on your Twin Comac Riven. And that's a lot of damage to give up for a weapon that wants 100% status so badly because of how it's slash based. But it's a pistol, so you can't even build crit to give it 100 munitions. It's not surprising that this gun isn't more popular. Actually, let's take a look. I don't think my... Yeah, my Riven... My Riven's not on this character. That's, uh, there's no way to make this, yeah, you'd, you'd have to give up both of the crit slots in order to make this usable as a status weapon, but you don't want to do that because of an auto with a lot of pellets. You actually want the crit really badly. So if you can get a hundred, so you can get 90% stat, 95% status on a twin Comac, you're in business. I have no multi-shot on here. And 
This gun's got a lot of problems. This gun's got a lot of problems. Chagrin! This is not an April Fool's joke. The twin Roga got buffed. Nobody cares. Basto got nerfed. Nobody cares. Docti and Zalak got buffed. Both of these guns are actually pretty good. But, um, yeah, we'll see. So there's actually, so, going back over this. Yeah, there's a lot more buffs than there are nerfs. But the nerfs are more impactful, obviously, because people are using these weapons. I'd say the real winners here... Well, the big losers are Amprex. All the Gunzaws, except for... Except for Gaze, for some reason. Gamma Core won big. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, Twin Gracadas won big, too. Yeah, okay. Lol. Almost 20%. Big loser Supra Stradivar. Because that has a prime coming. Ignis. Huge nerf. Amprex. Huge nerf. I don't know if Penta's worth it to say that's a big, a big winner. But it's going to bring a lot of people back to actually wanting to use this weapon because the augment from Nightwave actually gives it, actually makes it a lot more playable. So, we'll see. Big losers. Frame rates. We are all losers on this blessed day because the Simulator got buffed. Never again. Big losers. Snipers of all kinds except for Snipetron. Even the Volcar. Please stop bullying the Volcar, DE. This this gun has a three second reload time. And it doesn't do more damage than the Vectus or the Rubico or the Lanka. Please please stop with the E-bully. Gamma Core, one big. Akikor, that's my personal favorite out of this one. That's my, yeah, that's, that's, that's just for me. That's only for me. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Zylocke, I'm surprised people, more people aren't using this. It's like a Tigris, but it doesn't do enough damage to actually get the one-shots off. Maybe with this Riven disposition change, if you have a Zylocke Riven, you can get it to the point where it does one-shot. But if you have to use a Riven in order to make a gun actually perform how it's expected to perform, that's not a good weapon. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, here it is, right here. Soma is an interesting case study. Ever since we gave the weapon out as part of Twitch Prime 2017. Yeah. So they fun. So they fundamentally changed how this gun would perform. Kit guns. Yeah. The only one that didn't get touched is Gaze. Melee Riven changes? Yeah, that those aren't coming until Melee 3.0, so that'll be coming out in about three years. Oh well. Alright. For anyone who cares, that was the Riven 